Hello and welcome, this is your Funky Uncle with the Let's Play Dragon Age Origins Blind, episode 16. In this one, we're still talking to this dude. Where are they now? The others are camped with the King's soldiers in the valley. The King's given us a position of honor at the vanguard, despite our small numbers. I think Kaelin is actually excited to ride into battle with us. Maybe he thinks that's what his father would have done. So they have the right to recruit anyone? King Marek, Kaelin's father, reaffirmed the power the Grey Wardens were given during the Blights. In practice, we can't conscript too often without hurting our cause. We were exiled from Ferelden once. Best not to let that happen again. Mm. No, that's all I wanted to know. You want to ask me about something else? The Blight, Duncan mentioned. Of course. So, what is it? Where do they come from? You want the Chantry's version or the truth? They aren't the same thing? <laughs> they seldom are. So what's the Chantry's version? According to the Chant of Light, the Maker imprisoned the old gods underground long ago as punishment for tricking mankind into worshipping them. The old gods still whispered to some men and taught them magic. These men became the Magisters of the Tevinta Empire. The Magisters used their gift to enter the Golden City, tainting it and themselves. They were cast out by the Maker and became the first Darkspawn. They fled underground, bringing their taint to their gods. The tainted old gods were the archdemons who rose from their prisons and led the Darkspawn against the world. And the truth? The truth is we don't really know. They come up from the ground, and that's as far as we've gotten. <laughs> So what you talked about was the first blight? Yes, and it nearly wiped us out. When defeated, the Darkspawn flee back underground and seek out another old god to taint, thus bringing another blight. So where is the Archdemon for this blight? We haven't seen it yet. People are beginning to think this is just an unusually large Darkspawn raid without an Archdemon to unify them. But seriously, the Archdemon could be in the wild, so underground, it could be hiding. Just because it hasn't shown itself doesn't mean it isn't out there. Why not kill the Darkspawn when they're underground? You're a dwarf. You tell me. Your people have been trying that for just about ever, haven't they? They've controlled the deep roads ever since they defeated the Dwarven Kingdoms. Even if we invaded, we can only chase them so far. What is an Archdemon exactly? The old gods were dragons, so the story said. Dragon Age! Big ones. Intelligent, even. The Tevinta Empire had big statues of them. Each dragon had a name and a place in the cosmos. It's all very intricate. The archdemons may not be the old gods, but they're definitely dragons. Why are some people so skeptical? The Grey Wardens killed so many Darkspawn by the end of the Last Blight. People decided they were gone for good. I have other questions about the Blight. Of course. How do the Grey Wardens defeat Blights? We chop off the snake's head. It's the only way. According to texts, the most famous Grey Warden leader, Garahel, killed the Archdemon Underal in personal combat at the Battle of Aesley to end the last Blight. Mm -hmm. Without the Archdemon to command them, the Darkspawn flee back underground. How did anyone even know about this boy? The Grey Wardens keep watch. We feel the dark spawn when they come. You'll understand after the joining. If you... S well, you'll understand. Not to mention people start to notice when dark spawn pour out of the wilds and taint everything around them. Just a guess. <laughs> I like this guy. Just how many dark spawn are out there? Thousands. Tens of thousands. They've had centuries to build up their numbers. That's all I wanted to know. You want to ask me about something else? I do. Tell me about Duncan. Duncan is the leader of the Grey Wardens in Ferelden. Which he would say doesn't mean much, as there aren't many of us here. Yet, beyond that, he's a good man. A good judge of character. <coughs> I owe him a lot. He, he what about me. you? What do you think of him? I'd rather keep my thoughts to myself. Fair enough. He's done the best he can with what little he has. And that includes me, I guess. You want to ask me about something else? The joining ritual. 
I wish I could tell you more. Maybe ask me again after Duncan speaks to you about it. You want to ask me about something else? And this upcoming battle. The one tomorrow. I'll tell you. It's Tan Loghain we should be looking to win it, not the king. Kaelin just wants his place in history. The Tan is planning the strategy. Uh, that's my opinion, anyway. I guess I should be thankful the king favors us Grey Wardens. But I know who's keeping the lid on the pot. How much will I be participating? You know, that's a good question. The other Grey Wardens are riding into battle with the king. I don't know if you'll be with them. Why is it happening here, of all places? We're at the edge of the Korkari Wilds, the eye of the Blight Storm, right where the Horde will be coming. Ostagar itself is an excellent defensive position. The Wilders were pushed back from here time and again in ancient days. What are the chances of success? I'm sure Tern Loghain has the battle planned to the last detail. Still, no Blight has ever been defeated with so little cost. What if we fail? If we don't break the Horde here, Duncan says it will spread until it engulfs all of Ferelden. Then it will take an alliance of nations to fight it. Which would be bad. Neither the King nor the Tern really seems to believe this is a real blight, however. That's all I wanted to know. You want to ask me about something else? Nah, I have no more questions. Then let's get a move on, shall we? Let's! Alright, well that wasn't... didn't take too terribly long. Oh wait, I'm still playing as him. That's better. You follow me, punk. I'm nobility. Kinda. Yes, yes, tactics, 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 tactics. Oh good, that priest finally shut up. I found him, Duncan! Let's get on with things! No, no, I'm there. You found Alistair, did you? Good. I'll assume you're ready to begin preparations. Assuming, of course, that you're quite finished riling up mages, Alistair. What can I say? The revered mother ambushed me. The way she wields guilt, they should stick her in the army. She forced you to sass the mage, did she? We cannot afford to antagonize anyone, Alistair. We don't need to give anyone more ammunition against us. You're right, Duncan. I apologize. Now then, since you're all here, we can begin. Yay! You four will be heading into the Kokari Wilds to perform two tasks. The first is to obtain three vials of darkspawn blood, one for each recruit. Finally, some action. <laughs> Without a doubt, darkspawn aren't renowned for their willingness to offer up their blood. There was once a Grey Warden archive in the wilds, abandoned long ago when we could no longer afford to maintain such remote outposts. It has recently come to our attention that some scrolls have been left behind, magically sealed to protect them. Alistair, I want you to retrieve these scrolls if you can. What kind of scrolls are these? Old treaties, if you're curious. Promises of support made to the Grey Wardens long ago. They were once considered only formalities, with so many having forgotten their commitments to us. I suspect it may be a good idea to have something to remind them with. Part of the joint are joining too? No, but the effort must be made. I have every confidence you are up to the task. How will we find this archive? It will be an overgrown ruin by now, but the sealed chest should remain intact. Alistair will guide you to the area you need to search. And what if they're no longer there? It's possible the scrolls may have been destroyed or even stolen, though the seal's magic should have protected them. Only a Grey Warden can break such a seal. I don't understand. Why leave such things in a ruin if they're so valuable? It was assumed that we would someday return. A great many things were assumed that have not held true. Find the archive and three vials of blood. Understood. Watch over your charges, Alistair. Return quickly and safely. We will. Then may the Maker watch over your path. I will see you when you return. We get to go kill some stuff. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what map? Where's some way to the wilds before? There we go. Directly behind me. So let's get up to the door and end the episode.
This has been your Funky Honky with a little Let's Play Dragon Age Origins Line episode uh, 16. Stay tuned for episode 17, and I hope you'll see me next time.